Always fun on campus if, in fact, you're a devil when you ring that victory bell. And they did it in a dominating fashion. Joan Bonvicini, Darren Sutton to put a wrap on this one. And, Coach, when you look back and you listen to that noise, it's a sweet sound, but it's only sweet because they shared so much. 22 assists on 32 field goals. The ball never stopped moving. Well, when you have those type of assists, you know, obviously players have to finish, but the sharing is contagious. You know, and this team goes inside, outside, but the fact that you're doing that means you're really playing team basketball, unselfish basketball, winning basketball. Here's the other thing that happened with regard to ASU. Offensively, they rebounded and created so many second chances, 17-8. to eight. It was big for Ekmark. It was big for Johnson Chapman, uh, wanting confidence days, and they both had confidence days. Well, these are leaders, three seniors, leading their team. They want to take this team to the next level. They've been to the NCAA tournament and going one game at a time. They have the making of a very promising season. They're about a decade away from going to the Elite Eight. I think, simply put, that may be the expectation this year. ASU rolls over Louisiana Tech. We'll see you soon on campus.